selection list display commands allow us to push the description value from a selected property into another column. By updating all the records in the project, reports like line lists can be quickly populated. To set up a display property, first create it in your project. In this sample, I've created a service description property on the line group class in PNID. To get started, we'll click the Edit Display button. Click Add PNID, and we'll choose a class to work with. Choose the service property to read the value from and we'll push the description into the service description property. You can view a list of the mappings in the dialog. Click OK to finish the mapping. Taking a look in our data manager, we have the pipeline group class selected. Notice we have the services filled out, but the service description column is not. To update the column, click Update Selection List Display. After the update, we can see the service column and scroll over and view the service description column on the right. Selection List Sync pushes a list and its values to either PNID or Plan. For example, in the PNID portion of this project, we use a selection list for the valve code. With Selection List Sync, we can push the same list to the plant 3D side, ensuring that our valves in 3D can use the list. First, we'll click Edit Sync, and we'll check the valve code list from the PNID side. When we run Selection List Sync, the list will be created on the 3D side. Now, under Plant 3D DWG settings, we can go to Piping and Equipment, Pipe Run Component, Valve, and create a valve code property to use in our selection list. Click Add. Choose Selection List, and now we have a valve code property available from the PNID side. Of course, we need to modify our tag to include the Selection List property. Now, in a 3D model, we can put a valve in and tag it using our Selection List. To update the selection list, we can go back to our PNID class, find the code, and add a new row. Modifying and creating selection lists is impossibly easy now. By using the export and import buttons, the selection lists can be sent to Excel for modification and refreshing. Click Export, and spreadsheets are created in the project folder for the PNID and piping selection lists. The workbooks are also opened immediately. Let's change our list of services. Here is a modified list of our services. I'll save the workbook. And then click Import. I modified the piping workbook, so I'll bring those back in. Now in the Data Manager, under Line Groups, I can view the list of imported services, customized to my project needs. The final feature of the Selection List plugin Pulls the piping specs in the 3D model spec sheet folder and makes them available to use in PNID. Out of the box, my spec list looks like this. But I can click the Sync Spec List from Plant 3D button to import the specs from the 3D spec sheet folder.